is John Bollinger with Premier Guitar. Today we're taking a test drive of the BC Audio Bel Air 40. Very cool amp. I'll tell you all about it after I tell you about how we're recording it. Um, this is my custom build PRS, just with stock PRS pickups in it. Uh, and I've got a Tele and an old 1960 uh, Les Paul Jr. I'll play through it as well so you can hear those flavors for some single coil stuff. Um, I'm just going straight into the amp, but I do have a modest pedal board that I'll use later on. This is just the one I had in my car. It's like my club pedal board, but it's a, a boost and a, uh, a delay and a tuner and a battery. So, uh, so we'll get a, a little flavor of what this says with pedals. We're micing this with a Royer R121, and it's quite a bit off the cab. This is a this is a dry amp. There's no verb or anything like that, so we kind of like the, the roominess of it being off the, off the cab a bit. And that's running it into a Apache Quartet and Pro Tools. So just basically, what you heard there is just plug straight in, blowing and going. So I talked to Bruce at BC and the, the, the concept behind this amp is fairly simple. It's giving con uh, players control over the power tube section to alter the tone of the amp. Now most amps, they, uh, they alter the tone with the preamp section, but this is taken to a whole new level and you adjust the, uh, the power tubes right here in front. Now it's running on six, or I'm sorry, on four six V6s. Uh, BC has a long history with, with six V6s. In fact, their first amp was a two six V6 amp that's inside a army surplus um, ammo box. So they've seriously upgraded from that humble beginning. But right here, you get the option of running between a pair of 6v6s and a quad. And the truth is, they sound very different. Um, over here, the other option is pentode and triode. I'm on triode coming in and, and uh, a pair coming in. And then over here, fixed bias or a um, cathode bias. So it's just cool ways of adjusting your tone. And all of these switches do make it sound differently. Um, I came in on the pair, not only because it sounded different, but it was, it was a little quieter. And as you can see over here, I had this, uh, the one volume we had, the master goosed all the way up. Let me bring that down to a little more reasonable tone or, or volume and let you hear the difference just in the, uh, in the quad and the pair. There's the pair, here's the quad. bring this down a little bit more of the volume but it's just a very warm tone so I love that coming in with that with that volume all the way up on the pair, it's got a kind of a, I don't know, almost a Dwayne Almon sort of very natural overdrive where you kind of feel these implied harmonics. Bringing the quad, dial back that volume and it's really just kind of jazzy. Um, let me give you another guitar so you can hear what it sounds like with that. So now I'm on my uh, 1960 Les Paul Jr. that's been converted to a special somewhere and it's, I don't know, uh, 50 some years on the planet. Um, but let's see what this does. Now, we'll kind of ro let's roll across the front panel. You can kind of see what they do along the way. So we're now on the quad. Let's try going from pent uh, trio to pento. Man, that's got some spank, right? Jeez. And a lot more volume. Punishing Perry here. Um, but I, I dig that. Okay, fixed and cathode are on fixed right now. Mm. 
Jeez. It seems like all these adjustments give you just a bit more of everything. It just seems louder. It seems like it's got more high end. Okay, so that's the power tube configuration. Then right over here, we have the negative feedback switch. There's three settings and you've got cut and presence. And right now I've got them both dimed. I think usually it's force of habit when I'm dealing with an amp, I tend to turn everything up and then subtract from there. Um, it might be a bad habit, but that's where I live. So let's just kind of jack with this a little bit. We're in the first setting. Love that. Bring that cut down. And it gets real dark. Bring it back up. Let me try the same thing with the presence. That's pretty subtle. Okay, a middle setting. Far setting. The point is, this is a tweaker's amp. You could go forever going between these. Let's go over here to the uh, to the three band three band EQ, bass, mids, treble. As you can see, I've got the treble and the mids up quite a bit. I've got the bass down. This has, whereas some amps don't give you a lot of bottom end, this gives you tons of bottom end. So much, in fact, that I had to kind of reel it back a little bit to give me a little bit more clarity. And also, what I like about this is that you can just take the EQ out altogether, so you're just running straight through. Get the idea? Over here, you've got body and volume, so in a bright switch. Three positions on that. Bring that body up. It's funny, with the body all the way up, I don't know if it's, an if it's intentional, but I feel like you get a little more compression, which I like. And uh, a thing I like about this amp too, there's something about getting a really good clean tone where it makes you play better. I mean, in, in fact, what I mean by that is you have to play better because all your mistakes are so out there and so, so present. You know, no reverb to hide behind, nothing like that, no dirt, whatever. So anyway, this amp is good for you. <laughs> There's nowhere to hide. Uh, volume, of course, doing what it does. Um, let, me, let me bring this volume up a little bit more where we start getting to the dirt and show you it works really well with pedals. Like I've, I've just, as I showed you this humble pedal board, all I've got is a boost and a delay. Great rock and roll tone, but turn on that boost. that man um, handles pedals really well a little bit of overdraw or a uh, delay get all trippy dippy on you trippy dippy hippy Hey, let's put on a Telecaster so you can hear the last flavor. Now we're in Teleland, and I should mention the rest of the tubes, instead of the traditional 12AX7s, which you might expect, these are six SL7s, which you know, I, I'm not really familiar with this tube, but they do seem to have, this amp has a unique personality, and maybe it's a combination of those. I don't know what it is, but together all those things gives it a unique voice. So here's the Tele. <coughs> Got 
some spank to it, right? I mean, spanky. And then put on that drive or that uh, boost. <laughs> This thing is even on, on you know pared down uh, it is really loud this is a loud 40 watts like drowned out a drummer if you want to which I like to have that option <laughs> so those are the basic details on the Bel Air by BC Audio good on ya love seeing people making cool gear right uh, to read the full written view, go to premierguitar.com. While you're online, make sure you like us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. You should you should probably get in a few hours of YouTubery every day. We've got endless gear nerdness there for you. This is John Bolger. Till the next time. <laughs>